Hello. It's not often I put the lamp on, but I thought I'd do that today because here we have two Graham Farish chassis uh, being pulled apart. Just for bits. Always useful for bits. We really deconstructed these, as you can see. And the biggest issue we're going to have today is the one most useful part in Graham Farish inventory is always gears but the problem is it's also the worst part now the issue with the gears is they're very small but very brittle because as you can see there's not much for them to keep uh, there's not a lot of them Oh, it's really hard to put because it's like there's, the strength of them is great because they can haul a big train, no problem. There's nothing wrong with Graham Farish power. But the big issue is when you start putting lubricants on that are not plastic friendly. And as you can see here, I've got a pile of four of them all of the same size. Probably the most useful gear they have, because they, they are the ones that drive the driven axles. And all four of them are split in one place. Um, they'll split in one place. And the second they're split, the whole bogey starts to go under tension, and that'll usually split every other drive axle gear there and then probably if not you're very lucky it's like because of how thin they are they just can't handle the uh the, the tension that is made through that throughout the system now why this is still a problem is because for some reason over the many years of Farish production, they still use this type of gear. Despite the fact they are notorious for splitting. I've bought second-hand models from the shop that have immediately split gears. For whatever reason or another. Immediately split. Which needs parts, and those parts are not necessarily easy to get. I'm in Australia, and the supply of parts is not great. Which makes running these trains very interesting in comparison to, say, you know, Mr. Reliable over there. That'll run for years and years and years, no issue. However, I would also like to point out, these use plastic gears. Yeah, I've never had, I don't recall ever having an issue with plastic gears in a Tomix Ocado train. And yet, Graham Farish, every single time I go to run a train of this brand, I'm literally sitting there going, well, when's it going to break? Every single time. That's why, if we look down here, uh, excuse the boxes, if we look down here, that's where all my Graham Farish stuff is. It's kept in the shelf. It's really sad to say, but I don't trust it. I don't trust it enough to run it. Because they're very lovely models, and I like to keep them as very lovely models. I don't want to see them as lovely broken models. Absolutely pointless having them. So there's your dilemma. As you can see, there's loads of little bits. Like, uh, let's let's pick this out, for instance. That is your... Sorry for the non-focusing. It's uh, due to the fact that it's using anti... Well, it's using auto-stabilizing. So you can view this without me shaking it like an absolute idiot. Those are the... Uh, I suppose if you like gear axles, I don't know what your technical term is for them, just something to hold the gear in place, as you can see they have teeth on them as well. So as you can see the gear is already a multiple part problem. 
Like, these are not single parts. On Tomix and Cardo, uh, the individual gears are just one piece, I think. Having never had... Well, I've pulled them apart, and yes, I would like to confirm that they are single piece gears. Whereas these appear to be two piece. Now, does that cause the issue? Does that help the issue? It's hard to say. I certainly think they need to look at the design of these because it's horrific how many sets of gears that have been going through. I mean, not all of this, this four are going straight in the bin. There's no use for them. They're split. You can't put your trust in the split gear. Um, and that's just unfortunate. So all the rest of these bits will get filed away somewhere and well they'll have a second use. But I think it's high time they have looked at the gears and made them either metal alloy or something or they really have to just improve it somehow where they're not so brittle and thin and and breakable. And they would have an infinitely better product because these are really, really good. They're actually not poorly made in any regard, apart from the fact that you need a lot of bits for them. But other than that, they're, they're, they're put together very well. And they're just let down by this one, not even worth a penny's piece, you know? So that's my short video for today, just to put something out there, just to bit of a whinge on farish gears but um yeah high time may need to look at this this is undeniably a difficult situation but um yes as you can see even on the on even on the drive axles they they can split as well it's they're not they're not a sacred it's not a sacred problem to these gears alone. These these small these other small ones might do it too, but it's just yeah, it's a situation you just don't want to find yourself in because good luck getting parts because you're probably going to end up breaking another loco to do it. And that's it. We'll uh, see you next time. Join us on the channel again. Um, we'll have some more content soon.